one more humid day is coming up. I actually think it will be about this time tomorrow night that those dew points are starting to drop as the drier air filters in following the passage of a cold front. And that's going to lead us to mainly dry conditions next week. And I know this week was one where some spots were able to pick up some heavy downpours with those showers and thunderstorms, but we still didn't have a widespread soaking rainfall. And I don't see that coming as we go right through the next week. In fact, for the most part, it looks mostly sunny and quite comfortable. So here's what the future track looks like as we go through the rest of tonight. Again, not much happening here. We may see a little bit of additional cloud cover or some of that patchy fog try to fill in again. That's going to be most likely for locations that saw some of that rain today. And then going into tomorrow, this is a little bit of a tough call here. That front's going to push in from the west. There'll be a little bit of a lake shadow, so I don't think much happens along the lake shore. But as we work through, say, the early to mid afternoon, we may see some scattered showers and a few thunder storms developing. Those that do develop will be pushing their way from west to east as that front clears the area by again about this time tomorrow night and we'll start to improve those humidity levels. So 67 tonight, the low in Grand Rapids. We'll talk about numbers back into the mid and upper 80s as we go through the day on Saturday. Again, can't rule out a couple of scattered showers or a thunderstorm. Most of those should be away from the lakeshore. Waves really no worse than about one to two feet and water temperatures continue to come up. 60s to even some low and mid 70s. Less humid, dry on Sunday. Monday offers us a few showers, especially for locations that are north and east of Grand Rapids. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, low humidity, a relatively light wind, high pressure and control, and temperatures pretty close to mid-June averages.